Hey, hi everyone. Okay, so this is our second episode with Joe. We got Louie, Andrew, Joe. We're here, it's project session today. We're gonna watch these two go crazy on some hard stuff. Bad to watch us getting shut down for hours. <laughs> and me laughing behind. So that's it, that's what we're gonna do. You guys gonna jump on some stuff? Yeah, I'm ready. You feeling good? Warmed up. Yeah. Warmed up. Ready. Done our warm up. Check the previous warm up video if you're unsure yep. what we did. Go, go watch that warm up video. <laughs> and let's do it. What are we doing here? Uh, we're just trying this uh, V9 star climb. It's in a group, so it's got nothing to do with strength. Um, I, I flashed it, so I'm, I'm just going to watch Joe do this. <laughs> it was before you started filming. Wait, what? You say that again? I flashed it, so I'm, I'm just going to stop now. <laughs> Liar. Okay, okay, he's lying. <laughs> so we've got a V9 slab project. Yep. Okay. So, um, I'm not looking forward to what this is going to do to my shins, but we'll see. Maybe I'll get it first. Good. Not first good. Not first good. That wasn't first good. Yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, Joe. Oh, the quiet and shot was a bit too hard. It's hard to like, not French stuff. I, I can't start it properly. Uh, I haven't yet managed to start it properly. Um, Joe did it in a nice bit of control there. I kind of had to do an awkward lunge to the next non-hold. Okay. I'll see if I can. Oh, Get ready for about three hours of this. <laughs> There's a flame this is exciting the stuff, guys. Three hours of slap. Oh, that's climb. the first time I've started it statically, though. So, so, progress. We go foot up, we do a hand foot match. Is that it? Kind of, yeah. It's going to be foot below there. Then you do more awkward pressing in the corner. Just, it feels like you're slipping the entire time. Yeah, Joe. Oh, no, Joe. Oh! Oh my god. So is the press really hard to start this off? Yeah, yeah. so this start hold is really greasy. And you just have to constantly brush it, otherwise your hand just slips right off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go on. Come on. Yeah, Tom. Nice, Joe. Go on. Oh! <laughs> okay. That's good. That's good. Your left foot does really feel like it's yeah. just going to shoot. So what, hap what happened there? So I managed to get my other foot up, and then my left foot just felt like it was sliding. And as soon as I got that left hand on, it's just shooting. Just shoots Go on, Louis. Would a slab master just find this not so bad? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, come on, Joe. Come on. Yeah, Joe. Oh. Do you think slab is generally something most people have a tough time with? I think it really varies. Um, yeah. When I first started climbing, I way preferred slabs because I didn't really like having to use my arms too much, pull hard. And then I realized how painful it is if you fall on a slab. Yeah. So <laughs> I've moved over to the overhang side. You've come to the dark <laughs> side. Yep, nice. pretty much. I've gone the other way. I've, I've started really enjoying slabs. Not this one, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> but other slabs. Oh, but uh, like, it's feel, it feels like I'm hating it, and then I suddenly make progress, and it's really exciting, and I feel like the best climber ever. Then I get shut down for another hour. Yeah, yeah, you want it, you want it, you want it? Come on, Joe. No. Oh, you got you got the last. I've got <laughs> I got the last two moves. 
It's the most I've ever done on this climb. Progress. But oh, I don't want to do that last move too many times. It's just one finger, sharp edge, just going yeah, like that on them. It looks like you're taped up already too. Oh, that's um protective. I've already, I've got a comp this weekend. I'm trying to just protect my skin, but still climb. Yeah, Joe. Then I switch to outside edge, left foot. Four, be the bendiest person ever. Go on, Joe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, Joe. We're the best lap climbers ever. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got to do the whole thing now, but. Woo. So I don't know about you, the main difference I had there was I just believed that my feet were going to work. Just gonna stick the one that's why it's slipping off that one every time is I stand up going, and now it slips, and then it slips. Maybe it so, won't if I Jedi so you just mind gotta believe, it. right? Yeah. Yeah. If you believe it'll stick, it will. Maybe. I'm, gonna <laughs> the test. I'm just gonna bl have blind conviction that all my feet are gonna stay, and I'm gonna send it this way. All right. Right? Yeah. Good. <laughs> People falling on slabs is like my knee jerk react. Like, yeah, it's. I hate falling on slabs. That's why I probably don't train them enough because I just hate falling on them. Now, in most comps, do you find they always set at least one slab? Oh, yeah, right? yeah. In they, the finals? they always set a slab in finals because, you know. Otherwise, it's just the strongest. It, yeah, it's not about being the strongest. To be the best climber, you gotta be the strongest and you gotta have the best technique. <laughs> And yeah. slabs are really good for putting that to the test. Yeah. So, I should. Th it's good that I'm working this. See, this is why I think it's good for me to train this sort of stuff because if you're like 90% limbs and you don't weigh much, you can just get away with all kinds of crap, which <laughs> when they suddenly set a tricky climb, you can't get away with. Um, so, I'd say like there are a lot of people who are vastly better climbers than me but don't have as long arms. Okay, Sorry. so what what do you think is like is stopping you from doing this right now? Um, I know all the moves. I mean, I want to say things like, oh, if the holds were stickier, that would help because it does feel a bit warm. Um, I want to say things like, oh, if I had more flexibility, like Joe apparently can put her feet up by her ear without anything else changing position. Um, but. I think most of it is I'm losing confidence, thinking, oh, I'm not flexible enough, oh, the holes are too slippery, when I just focus on being calm and doing it carefully, I think it'll be fine. Let's find out, okay. Do you think there's like a mentality that competition climbers need to have? Uh, Do you think there's like a commonality between you guys? Um, I'd say um, all of us are quite persistent, but um, I think being patient and learning to still make smart decisions when you're under pressure is the hardest bit. Like, oh, that's why I trained the junior team with. I don't know if you find the same thing, but okay, you've got you've got four minutes. Everyone's yelling at you. There's music pumping. You know you can kind of do it, and then making the really hard decision of. I'm going to sit down and rest and do nothing is just so hard yeah. to make yourself do it. I'm just going to do it now when there's no pressure. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I guess the, the adrenaline is pumping, right? Yeah, and... exactly. So yeah, trick, smart decisions when you're under pressure, it's, it's harder than you'd think. I'd agree. Joe, you, sound, you look like stone cold. You're like calm, cool, collected. So, um, I find in competitions, I always have to give a kind of exterior of like, yeah, I'm confident, yeah, I can do this. Doesn't always go to plan. Sometimes I end up shouting and thumping my chalk on the mat or whatever. But generally, I can kind of stay composed and that's what allows me to be able to but Stay it, calm and send the problems. That other stuff though, that like means you care, right? You're yeah. pushing yourself to limits, exactly. so that's going to come out. Exactly, I think if you out. don't have these outbursts of frustration, then you don't really care enough. Yeah. So, I guess it's a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Right.
much I've already been through You don't know the place I'm coming from Edit this week, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Good. gonna put her start and your finish. Perfect. Oh, yeah, and she finished it too. Combined. Oh, yeah, you did finish it. Yeah. <laughs> Magic of editing. <laughs> so, this climb is V9. V9. But we think we're gonna crush it. <laughs> Not like that last V9. <laughs> so, it's a V9 overhang. Uh, yeah, yep. about as overhanging as it gets. Much more our kind of style. Holds that we like. Better holds, a uh, lot steeper, more powerful, more strength required, less yeah. stupid footwork. Some margins so. were allowed. <laughs> less stupid footwork. Yeah. So these are these holds still look pretty small though, right? Yeah, pretty crimpy. Um, yeah. You've got a couple more positive holds in the roof, um, but no drugs because it's a V9. So a lot of kind of crimps, loopy crimps. Yeah, yeah, should be good. I'm gonna do good. it! <laughs> <laughs> Louis is psyched. psyched. Louis is chomping right now. Better falling off. Yeah, I've got my plan. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Hi. see my shadow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I was waving at you. No, it's fine. So you you get what you deserve And I stand my ground Never backing down Oh yeah Cut my teeth on streets nobody wants to go through Stripes made of lines that can't be undone. I've been high, I've been low, and the proof is in my bones. You don't know how much I've already been through. Flash! What was I doing? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I did like five things. I have no idea what I'm doing. No, well, because I got to that. I was like. Whoa, blind cameras, no way. Heel to hand. I used heel hooks everywhere. I love heel hooks. That must have felt good. Uh, so, it's nice to finish a climb. <laughs> Stupid slab. Stupid slab. <laughs> Double flash, D9. Walk, walk me through this. So I've, I mean, we originally read it as, oh, obviously you start here and then you go up right hand, but then we felt this hole and realized it doesn't, it doesn't feel like an option. Do that. So, uh, so we're gonna start, well, at least I'm gonna try and do that. Maybe hold it like that. But then that makes sense for the next moves where you go right to the slot, right again. And then it's just crimpy, crimpy, crimpy. Crimpy, crimpy, crimpy. Uh, All right, I got that beta. All right. <laughs> now that I'm on it, it feels like right hand. Yeah. I haven't started yet. I haven't actually got left the floor, so it's still the first go. He's still, he's just touching stuff. There's no, uh, no, there's no other option. I'm gonna pull on and just smash with left hand.
because I thought you were just messing around. <laughs> and then you match the completely unmatchable hole. Oh my god. Joe. Joe, I'm finished. What? So what should you do? I started... Yeah, show us that move. No <laughs> way! <laughs> and then she just leaned on that oh, knee. Oh, it's to do the start that way now. Hang on. So that was the episode. We were so busy on the day that we forgot to shoot an outro, so I'm gonna do that right now. I hope you enjoyed watching Joe and Lily climb some projects at Yonder. And you know, thanks for watching. Last week we hit a really nice milestone. We have over 1,000 subscribers for the channel now. So thank you. Thank you for coming here and watching. We promise to improve every single week and keep bringing you some really great climbing content. So hit that like, hit the subscribe if you haven't done so already, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.